Indian Navy's third SSBNS-4 will be commissioned in February 2025. The Electronics Corporation of India Limited has showcased its latest TCAV-500, that can operate at depths of up to 600 meters, with the potential to be scaled to 1000 meters for underwater surveillance. Indian Air Force's Jaguar strike aircraft has been spotted carrying two Israeli Rampage air-to-surface missiles. The first clear footage of Rudram 1 and Rudram 2 anti-radiation missile firing has surfaced on social media. The NIA has arrested two contract workers at Cochin shipyard, for leaking sensitive information about the shipyard to Pakistani spies, like pictures of strategic ship parts, the arrival of warships and maintenance details. The Ministry of Defence has suspended a significant Indian Army order for 200 logistic drones from Daksa Unmanned Systems Private Limited, following claims that the company incorporates Chinese parts in its UAVs. Goa Shipyard has launched a pollution control vessel for the Indian Coast Guard, that features 60% indigenous content. The CEO of SSS Defence has said, that the company's M72 carbine could not participate in the Indian Army's 4.5 lakh carbine trials, due to procedure and certain compliance criteria. India will be an observer at the Russia-led Multinational Collective Security Treaty Organization military exercise in Kyrgyzstan. The Air Forces of Greece and India have started the Phase 2 of Multinational Air Exercise Tarang Shakti 2024. Russia's United Engine Corporation had announced the development and testing of a new 91-kN RD-93MA engine, which is an improved variant of the RD-93 equipped on Pakistani JF-17. The RD-93MA offers several advancements like increased thermodynamic parameters, an improved fan design, and an advanced automatic power plant control system. Unlike the RD-33 engines manufactured in India by Hindustan Aeronautics for MiG-29 new PG fighter jets, the RD-93MA was specifically designed for single-engine fighter jets incorporating enhanced safety measures, such as an emergency engine start mode. Given the ongoing delays in the delivery of the American F-404 engine for the Tejas Mark 1A, the RD-93MA engine could potentially be a viable and advantageous alternative option. After the special purpose vehicle model faced challenges in the AMCA program, the Indian Ministry of Defence has now opted for a new model involving two development come production partners, which means creation of two distinct production lines, that will ensure a robust supply chain, and reduce the risk of delays or disruptions. The Defence Ministry has now decided to provide funding to both Hindustan Aeronautics and the undisclosed private sector company to develop their respective AMCA prototypes. Following rigorous testing, the best performing prototype will be selected as the L1 bidder, thus securing the right to manufacture the AMCA fighter jets. The Russian Onyx cruise missile, which is a close cousin of the Indo-Russian BrahMos missile, has proven its mettle in Ukraine. Despite facing a sophisticated Ukrainian integrated air defense system, which is considered more advanced than Pakistan, Russia was able to successfully deliver 199 out of 211 Onyx missiles to their targets, and this remarkable success rate highlights the missile's ability to evade detection and interception. The Ministry of Defence has issued a request for information for the procurement of the vehicle-based high-power microwave Mark II system for the Indian Army, to address the evolving threat posed by swarm drones. It will have a radar system capable of detecting and tracking low-radar cross-section targets, jammer to target hostile drones, passive RF detection system, electro-optical tracking system, and a high-power microwave weapon system that will be capable of neutralizing drone threats both individually and in swarms. Today's Top 3 Comments